And now to the bullion knot. Bullion knots are made by wrapping your thread around your needle lots of times. And they look like little slugs um, when they're finished. Um, I've used them to quite good effect in this sheep here. There are also a few French knots dotted about. Um, and you can see that you can make them curly as well as just straight. So that's one idea. They work really well for, for wool. And in my Cruel Work Angel here, I've used them for the hair. So you can see there are some curly ones um, and they've, the curly ones have also made a good edging here at, at the end. So they're almost overlapped. I've um, put some straight stitches in between. So let me show you how to do the stitch. To work a bullion knot, it's useful to use a longer needle. Now I'm using a small darning needle. You could use a milliner's needle um, or sometimes called a straw needle as well. Come up with your thread where you want the knot to start and then go down where you want the knot to finish. So that's going to be the length of your knot. I'll just do a short one to start with. And then go back up with your needle where you first came up in the same hole or very close to. And then wrap your thread around the needle. I'm right-handed, so I'm going anti-clockwise. I'm gonna show left-handers in a minute. You don't want to be wrapping too tight as you won't get your needle through. Now those wraps want to be the length of the distance between the threads. So if you just test it by putting your needle down, and you can see I'm nearly there. And then you want to pull the needle through. It's much easier if you've got both hands free so that you can hold the bottom of the needle with your right hand and the threads on the needle with your left hand. And now bring your right hand up and pull the thread through very, very carefully like that. Now you'll find that you've got a thread here and your wraps are here. So you need to pull the knot towards you and arrange the wraps and then simply take your needle through the fabric to anchor the knot. Now let's try that again. And this time we'll do a longer one. So come up where you want to start and go down where you want to finish. And again, come up where you started, wrap around the needle. Think of your needle as a maypole that you're just wrapping around. Keep it in the fabric. Don't wrap it too tightly. You're gonna need more wraps this time. But again, you can test it by just placing your needle down onto the fabric. So hold the wraps and pull through like that. Some of them go through really well, but persevere, just pull gently. And there's your little knot or slug or caterpillar done. Now you can make these bullion knots curly as well, as I did with the samples I showed you, um, the sheep and the, and the angel. So to do that, if I do one a short distance to start with, and then wrap, this time, instead of wrapping for the distance between the two threads, I'm going to put more wraps on the needle than I know I need. So about like that, which is longer than this distance here. So pull through. and take your needle through at the end. And you'll notice that you get a bit of a curl because it's too long for the space. So you can usually curl it either way. Sometimes you want it to stay sort of raised like that. Other times, sometimes I very carefully, without piercing the knot, if you can help it, put a little stitch in to hold it down. And I did this with the, um, with the angel and the sheep. 
and you can also make S shapes by curving that, that side, for example, the other way. I'm going to show you um, shortly how to do a little bullion knot rose, um, but we're going to do some uh, colonial knots first. But before we do that, I'm just going to show left handers. So come up where you um, want your knot to start, go down, and then come up where you began, or close to, and then go around your needle clockwise, not anti-clockwise, because that's more natural for you however many wraps you want. Bring your left hand up, hold the wraps with your left hand and pull through with your right hand to form your knot. Now I'm going to fill this area now with curly and straight knots um, and then come back and show you the colonial knots. <laughs> 